Diablo players, look at this brand new, insanely buffed Harlequin Crest. This is crazy. It's got 20 cooldown reduction. This is three times, basically, as the previous Harlequin. If we go ahead and check out the old one, we actually had all stats on it. And we also had resource gen. We also had the cooldown reduction. This is what's getting changed. And that's kind of the biggest change over here with this item. And on top of that, now we get plus maximum resource instead, which is going to be even better with the brand new Lockran's Talisman Amulet, uh, making it so, well, you could still maybe run Shaco and get a big chunk of damage. But I think the thing that is also brand new that will be very good is the plus 2,500 armor. Remember, this is not counting any masterworking, so that cooldown reduction could go even crazier. These brand new updates for Season 5 are actually looking a lot better now, and hopefully we're going to get a bunch of new uniques revealed with basically a bunch of different buffs. I mean, that's crazy. I did not expect ever to see Harlequin getting buffed, but to be realistic with you guys, the brand new Crown of Lucian is still probably going to be king. Now, there's also a bunch of other things coming out, and they did kind of reveal a bunch of the stuff in the Battle Pass. You guys can see what the free rewards look like. They reveal the kind of the end game skin it looks like you're supposed to kind of return to hell with some sort of like hellish looking armor and i think this skin does look pretty cool and they even actually showed off the uh, infernal compass over here which is kind of the brand new parts of the end game which you guys will see gameplay of in the background over here in a moment here so a massive update there's also uh, just kind of showing off some of the brand new skins i believe this is like the uh, sword of verithel which is really good but they also showed off in the post a seasonal like round like kind of the progression here so you'd start off with world tier one or two then you begin the lambs and wolves seasonal quest line and if you guys do want to see the entire season five gameplay i already have it ready for you guys i will link it down below but the whole gameplay of the entire thing is about half an hour it's not too long if you guys do want to go ahead and check out the entire seasonal quest line and then uh you just earn some rewards and the rewards are actually looking pretty dang good i'll show you guys those in a second but for people that are interested in just playing in the eternal area you can enter world tier three and then you get to begin the eyes of the enemy quest line which has you of course do kind of some sort of a quest line then you progress through it then you unlock the infernal hordes activity over here which you guys are seeing in the background over here the infernal horde so what i find very interesting on the eternal realm you could do the seasonal content but remember this season is supposed to be kind of short but the thing that is the most important thing is this is the new gameplay content of it but there's going to be a lot of changes to uniques and there's probably going to be a lot of really cool builds emerging and we're going to be getting an update very soon on a live stream there's also the change to the uber uniques they are purple uh while i was streaming season five early a lot of people were wondering are these brand new items no it's basically the uber uniques now they are called mythic uniques and uh, they essentially have their color change so you know when one of them drops you, you can get excited hopefully and you can get a brand new you know upgrade for your character but they don't do anything special that they didn't do before other than of course the buffs just so we're clear on that and i believe this is the brand new skin for the seasonal battle pass they also actually revealed the entirety of the battle pass uh, i believe it goes to 90 so this is the final unlock on the battle pass in season five uh which is the horse mount which is usually kind of what we've uh, seen there's also like a uh portal over here there's actually a really cool looking sword and i'll show you guys what's in the battle pass very very soon but it's kind of the same thing that we've already seen however at the very end i'm not sure if this is just going to be a spark at the very end it does have a purple chest which we normally haven't seen before it was actually colored differently i believe before so maybe we are getting one uber unique uh, fingers crossed we get one uber unique for the uh, season journey versus a spark but we get a spark we get a spark it's still better than nothing all right so uh this was actually just posted over here today fresh off the press over here it's talking about some of the other things there's a video but i already have a bunch of videos and i'm just gonna just run the gameplay in the background right now anyways but this is essentially what most of the stuff is coming down uh to in terms of what we are getting that's new in red so basically the newer updates they are going to be buffing the density. So whatever you're seeing right here in the gameplay in the background, that is essentially going to be getting buffed. So that's really good. They took some of the content creators feedback as well as checking out on the forums. And that's a good change. I'm going to kind of cover the stuff in red because that's the newer stuff here. Um, and then on top of that, they have a time limit of 60 second waves, which is going to be faster. So it doesn't feel like you're kind of waiting around. So I think that's good. They also made an update to the burning aether, which the pets can now pick it up, which is great, especially for melee builds. And then on top of that, you're going to get 
more eighth or so. I believe they like doubled the amount. This was in like the secret uh, Diablo partner meeting that we were able to talk about. Um, and they actually did make some adjustments to that. So my video that I uploaded a while back ago talking about all these updates that we could go over, um, they have actually adjusted some of those and I'll go over the updates on that as well. So they changed the uh, cost over here. So spoils of hell cost 20, but slaying enough will uh, spare 68th or unlock the spoils of greater equipment, which guarantees an item with a greater affix. So you're going to be able to get more consistency on getting those like end game best in slot items, hopefully. And then on top of that, crafting at the occult sigil and uh, power. Uh, and Forgotten Souls that uh, these fiendish keys scale and can be crafted here, which is a pretty big change because before these were so rare, no joke, that like it was just not even worth wor really worth doing because you really wouldn't get anything good out of it. It's better just to do the pit. And I still kind of have this question because, you know, I want to give them feedback as a Diablo partner. What is the point of doing this over the pit? That's kind of the way I see it. But if I get a guaranteed greater affix, it's okay. But I would rather get the pit materials and you can get pit material in there. But we're gonna have to wait and see if it's actually worth it because I was doing like end game world tier four of these and I was getting like five abduct site, which is like the lowest tier of material. So hopefully they can adjust that as well. If they do, well, at least now there may be a reason to do it. So on top of that, if you uh, open up chests, uh, chests of steel, these were in the uh, previous uh, one where we had it in the PTR where they were guaranteed to drop. It says, uh, slaying doom slayers in hell tides they are guaranteed to drop and they have a 75 percent chance to drop from whisper caches infernal compasses of higher tiers will also drop in end game activities such as nightmare dungeons and the pit so you can just do the pit and you're going to get some of those brand new compasses to actually uh go in and then you can upgrade them in tier which will upgrade the monster level so hopefully you'll get better rewards um I'm not, again i'm not going to read every single thing here i'm just going over the updates and then um the burning aether uh will change with obviously the world tier which is like normal i expect that it's not that big of a deal to show off some of the newer stuff over here again i have a full campaign if you guys want to check that out i already showed you guys kind of like the little like uh progression that they showed off in terms of like the order in which you want to do certain to, uh, do certain things and then so they are updating it Helltide and, uh, and legendary drop rates and more over here. So as far as Helltides go, uh, the hearts drop rate is actually going to be reduced. Um, I don't know if they actually specify the actual number here, but you are going to get a reduced amount. And they are going to be showing a bunch of uniques, and that's going to happen on August 12th at 12 p.m. Uh, PDT. So that's going to be pretty cool. I already showed you guys the color, and I showed you guys the brand new Harlequin. And I'm curious to know, hopefully they will buff the Melted Heart of Selig, because that is the one... Uh, mythic or uber unique that is just pretty much not seeing any play like there's no point i haven't seen one content creator make like a crazy build off that and hopefully that one will get buffed too because if they're going to re rework a bunch of the items they obviously need to make these uber uniques really powerful otherwise why even bother you know getting them right and then experience this has actually gotten changed so i mentioned before this is what blizzard told us and we could tell everyone that there was no level uh cap in terms of xp meaning that you could just pet Power level your friend, like in Diablo 3, in like 10 minutes you can get your friend to max level. They actually had changed that, which I'm kind of disappointed with because I like to make every single character, and it would make things faster. But um, they're changing it from plus 10 levels to plus 30. So you can go 30 levels above that monster's level, and they're going to get that XP. So bonus XP is going to be a little bit better, but not as good as, well, you can just power level your friend in like 10 minutes. Again, I don't know how you guys feel about that. I'm curious to know, what do you guys think about that? I think maybe if it's your second character, it could increase. That way it incentivizes you to kind of play multiple characters. As of right now, as far as I'm aware of, it's still pretty low in terms of percentage. Uh, basically, 60% of the players don't even reach level 50 in the game. So... Uh, I think giving us more XP is always better, but again, for the players that have been playing the game for a super long time anyways, it doesn't really take that long to get there. It's more of kind of a hassle and chore versus like, I'd rather just hit up a buddy once I'm max level. So this is what they're changing it to though. So curious to know your guys' thoughts on that. But yeah, before you can only go plus 10 levels. Now you can go plus 30 is basically what it comes down to. This is a very massive change over here. So enchanting no longer requires angel breath and relies on the salvage from legendary items instead. So that's great. Just means that yeah, picking up more legendary items is going to be better. And then also, since we talked about the legendary uh, drop rates over here, I actually didn't get to check out everything, uh, what they uh, mentioned. Oh, they're just saying they're going to be changing some balance over here. They want to make uniques feel special yeah we already know that they're going to be buffing it so uh helltide baneful harps will drop with in increased abundance across chess world bosses are now guaranteed to drop from commanders to fight the maiden 
uh, has been decreased and torture gifts now cost 75 cents. Oh, so world tier one and two, I guess you're getting better drop rates, but let's be honest, that's not that big of a deal. So I, I don't really feel like they address the legendary drop rates, I guess, unless they're considering these legendary drops, like the hearts. Uh, but as far as I I'm aware of, it sounds like it's just getting buffed over here because they guarantee drop from the commanders. However, they mentioned that you're going to be getting less off of the chest. So they didn't really specify this, but who knows, maybe they have gone back on that, but it's not really noted here. Uh, but as far as it goes, uh, yeah, I already showed you guys uh, the brand new battle pass. And then there are some chapter journeys that you can do just like you would normally have in like the seasonal quest line for like D3. And I already showed you guys the pictures of those. And there's going to be some other things that you can get from Tajal's shop, but I'm guessing you're going to have to pay, pay for these. But uh, nonetheless, um, that's uh, what is in the patch notes. So I'm curious to know, what do you guys think of this update? Are you excited about it? I'm definitely excited about it. And I'll be covering the live stream and I'll summarize the whole like one hour plus stream into like a small like 10 minute video but yeah it's wait hold on they they definitely said before they, okay so it says 11 a.m but i swear before they said that it was a different date didn't they say okay so this is august 12th this is august or uh, this is that they're both august 1st but one of them says 12 p.m one of them says 11 a.m so which time is it? I don't know, but I'll let you guys know and I'll, again, summarize everything for you guys. But uh, anyways, that's going to go wrap up the video. Um, I'm really excited to see what they do for the uniques. What uber unique guys would you like to see get buffed? And for me, I think a lot of them are actually in pretty good spots right now. But the one that just is objectively probably the worst is the spear that gives you those like shrine effects. I feel like that one, the thing hasn't been very good. And then on top of that, the melted heart of like just those are the two uber uniques that I think really need some little buffs over there. But anyways, if you guys want to see the update, subscribe to the bell. I'll let you guys know which uber uniques and which uniques are going to be good. And we're probably going to get a lot of fun new builds on the channel. And check the pin. There's a bunch of stuff for you guys, including brand new season five builds. Take care. Peace.